Hi and welcome to July 2010 Patreon rewards video. Okay, so I kind of screwed up a little bit. Uh, last month I said that I didn't have a whole lot to share and I ended up uh, giving um, out uh, fewer rewards than I should have because I totally totally forgot all the analog drawing I had been doing so this month I ended up spending a lot of time at the scanner and a lot of time taking pictures of stuff that I had actually drawn already so this month there is quite a bit of analog drawing for bronze patrons silver patrons will get two files with drawings in it because I didn't do as much digital work as I did analog work but that's okay because moving on to next month or this month uh, I'm going to be doing a little bit more short or -er, <coughs> uh, digital work so that it doesn't take me as long uh, I'm gonna be doing a lot of uh, painting studies and things like that uh, and, and, and other things uh, things that that will be a little bit uh, shorter it'll take a little bit less time to do but uh, uh, the good news is that I did finish a really big project. I'll show it to you in a second. And the other good news is that we've got a lot of uh, rewards this month. So beginning with this uh, month's uh, rewards, we've got figure drawings. So there's a lot of figure drawings here. So I did figure drawings uh, with charcoal as, as well as with pen. So at this point, I'm doing the charcoal drawings here. And these are the charcoal artwork, the, the charcoal figure drawing artwork that I worked on. It was a big charcoal uh, black pen um, um, graphic. Uh, it was just a big chunk of charcoal. And uh, it's a little bit uh, unwieldy and difficult for me to control, but I think I've got it down now. I'm, I'm fairly comfortable with it. And that was the newsprint figure drawing and then I decided I would do some pen and ink figure drawings so here are is that and this is all pen and ink five minute drawings and then I did some brushwork drawings this night uh, with different brushwork uh, I have an underlying with a with a ballpoint pen but with a brush a brush pen and I'm not as happy with these, uh, but uh, I'm decided to, 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 you know, it's part of the rewards that you get to also see the things that I'm not happy with, the things that I feel as if I've not quite gotten to what I wanted, where I wanted. And then I did something, uh, something that I, I haven't uh, uh, shared, and, and I, I don't believe I did. Uh, this is labeled April I think I may have shared it I may not so if, if this is a re repeat reward that's that's okay uh, this was uh, my this is my daughter she is about two and a half loves to go outside in the backyard and blow bubbles so I in April which if I haven't shared this I sh um, I am sharing it to you with you now this is a sketchbook drawing that I did while I sat and watched her blow bubbles so this is her blowing bubbles in the backyard and then my brother had uh, my my uh, what well, I think it was my godson he had a birthday party in that same month and we went to the beach so I sat at the beach with a brush pen and I did some switch uh, quick sketches of my kids at the beach playing on the sand with the sand and uh, the idea here was to try to capture the extreme light the extreme shadows and the extreme light uh, while they were moving around it was really kind of difficult because they would you know obviously they wouldn't stay still so it was really tricky to try to capture them as they moved and played in the sand so that's this page here this is me studying eyes from uh, one of my favorite artists online and then trying to um, emulate those eyes which I, I, now I am using the little bits that I learned from drawing these eyes in my current art and I will point them out I'll point it out uh, when we get to it 
And I've been doing a lot of sketching in my sketchbook. So just off of photographs, off of Pinterest of women's faces, uh, just doing pen and ink drawing. Some are better than others. Some are experiments with pen. Some are experiments with marker. Some are experiments with watercolor. Like I said, some are better than others. Some I like, some I don't like. Uh, this is a page that I did of post-its while I was in a meeting. This sheet here in the center is, is one of the pads that were kind of laying around and there was a co-worker across the way that I was able to uh, just see uh, from the office because it's a big glass office and um, I wasn't paying attention and she was over there having a conversation so I decided to draw her and then this is me more pen and ink drawings not quite getting the face I wanted and I did some variations and I still didn't get the face I wanted sometimes you try and it doesn't quite work out. But that's the point of a sketchbook, is just to mess up, right? Uh, just to play around, experiment, and, 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 and be free, knowing that no one's going to see your sketches. Which I am now sharing with you, even though no one's supposed to see them! Don't look! And uh, this is the final page of, of that those sketches. Um, I believe that this painting here is fairly successful. I'm really happy with the way it turned out. Later on, last month, um, uh, no, last week, I, I, I did do a painting right here, and it's a complete failure as far as I'm concerned. So it's, I'll be sharing that with you next week. I mean, next month. Uh, but uh, yeah, so uh, at least I got one decent drawing, uh, de decent painting, uh, and then I'm going to try to to continue doing these uh, watercolor paintings. And that is it for the sketch, the sketchbooks and the, and the analog drawing that I've been doing for the last couple of months. Now let's talk about the digital work. So this is, and notice there's two versions here. This is what I've been working on for the last month and a half. So last month I shared the work in progress of this and this is the final finished drawing and there's two versions there's a print 11 by 17 version and there is a wallpaper desktop version a desktop wallpaper version which is extended out so it extends out this way but the 11 by 17 paper one so this is the full final drawing it is done I am happy with it it turned out Nice. I like the way it turned out. So this is a picture of Arya. And she is a character in my comic. She is the Sin Eater in the comic. And the story behind this is that Arya is a Sin Eater. And one of her powers is that she can sense people's um, vices, her, their sins. Like she kind of tastes them, that, that she knows what they are. So whenever she's around anybody, around a group of people, she's bombarded by all this negative uh, uh, feeling, this negative senses. She understands how bad people could be, even the good people. There's something about them that is a little bit um, they, bad. They, 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 they do a little bit bad. So problem is that this makes her not like being around people for good reason and because of that she's really quite surly she dresses in black jeans the white shirt but she wears this black leather coat that makes her kind of look like a biker kind of a little bit of a goth and she is surly upset cranky she's so smart ass she speaks her mind and she's uh, she's generally you know not pleasant to be around because she's kind of she just seems mean and antisocial so when people 
see her and get to know her and or talk to her or be around her the vibe is that she's like you know one of these dark brooding emo kind of people who's who goes home and is surrounded by candles and black light and skulls everywhere because that's almost the kind of vibe that she gives out when she's out and about in public but if you were to follow her to her house and go into her room without anybody around she'd just pick up a book a comic and she'd be getting her bed which is surrounded by plush toys and her room is this bright and colorful and it just makes her happy to be in this the most girly happy fluffy cute environment um, is complete opposite of what you would expect from her uh, and this is her at peace uh, and that's kind of like what I wanted to to paint when I was painting this was was this place where she goes in and she is in control she's happy she, this is the place where she gets to hang out and be who she is that said I also asked permission from a few friends of mine and actually Duran Rivera who uh, whose character over here is Dirk um, who um, was someone who I coached and may still coach again if he ever so decides to uh, take me up on coaching again he's doing a comic called uh, Danger Squad I believe and this is one of his characters so he asked me on Instagram hey while I was drawing and roughing out this stuff he said hey can you put Dirk as one of the plush toys and I said hey that's a good idea because I put uh, Black Terror Kid in here as the plush toy and so when he's I said that's a, that's not a bad idea I'll put Dirk in there in fact I'm going to ask some of uh, my uh, friends who are comic strip artists who come who do web comics if they would want me to put their characters in the uh, in the as plush toys in this drawing and they and then I contacted a few and they said yes so uh, their information is down here you could find them all down here their websites so here, this one here, is Jersey Droz's characters, Boulder and Fleet. You could find them at boulderandfleet.com. So he let me, he was one of the first people I asked after uh, Duran. And then here we have El Muerto from uh, Javier Hernandez. And he's at God, God, uh, have, havezilla.com. Uh, this guy is Grave, and Grave is from um, a Nightmare Pro Wrestling. That's John David Guerra's uh, character, and that's a really fun comic. If you like pro wrestling and you like monsters, you're going to love Nightmare Pro Wrestling at NightmareProWrestling.com. And then we've got um, over here, let's, let's go with this guy here. This is Steamroller Man from Matt Schofield. Uh, you could find his stuff. Let me see. Where is it? Uh, I have it written down here. Steamrollerman.tumblr.com. Steamrollerman is uh, St uh, Matt Schofield is the storyboard supervising director on The Simpsons, and uh, he's got like an amazingly good sense of humor. The Steamroller Man is hilarious, so I highly recommend reading that. And we've got over here Cholo Libre, Cholo Libre from uh, John Narcome. Uh, now John is a, a good friend of mine um, and I uh, just had to ask him if you could use Cholo Libre. Cholo Libre was a comic, uh, a 24 hour day comic he did. He just kind of cranked it out in 24 hours and it became one of the most popular things he has ever done. And he's like shocked because he doesn't even know how it happened but it's become very popular for him. Um, this Cholo Libre. People want more Cholo Libre. So I put him here and you could find John Narcome at drawhard.com. So that's 
And then over here, I've got my steampunk mice. I'm a, a comic that I was working on a while back. I, it's on it's on hold for now. I've got the claw back here and the joyous bunnies. I've got a, a drawing of death that I sent out as a postcard to somebody over here, but I kind of used it like like I I, I figure she'd be really into Neil Gaiman. So uh, Aria would be really into Neil Gaiman, so she'd have a, a drawing of death, uh, Neil Gaiman's death over here. And I have a drawing over here that I have for my sketchbook of my son over here, but uh, it's cute and fluffy, so I thought I'd put her in here. And then here in the background, we've got characters from a comic that I did a long time ago called The Seven Impossible Tasks. You could actually read it on my, on my uh, website at... Uh, resourcecobarblog.com there's a section where there's comics and I actually have the 12 rough pages of that comic you can read it there but I decided to put them in the background because I needed figures and I didn't want to write do copyrighted figures so I decided to you, so that's the story behind the painting if you want to so, so now that you know what it is and what it means uh, and what I was going for and oh and by the way if you don't recognize, she is actually reading Death Note. She's reading the Death Note manga. If you have, if you don't know what the Death Note manga is, you, you, you're missing out. You should definitely read it. You should pick it up. Or you could watch, I think, Death Note series is on Netflix. And there's even a live action Japanese version and a live action American version, which is completely different. And I don't know. What. But anyway, um, that's what she's reading in case you're interested in in case you're wondering why the cover doesn't look like anything it's because the covers over here this is the back cover because it's manga you read it backwards all right and then finally we've got the chun li over here this is uh this month's postcard that i'm working on and speaking uh is it, sorry uh <sighs> forgot here's my sketchbook which is where you know I um, he, yeah the, you, you just seen the scans from my sketchbook okay so uh, this is the work in progress of the postcard for this month so here are the thumbnails that are not included in these rewards. They will be included in next month's because I started them in this month, not last month. And this is the work in progress of the uh, of this postcard that's down below. So this is where I'm at right now. I have not finished it. Um, I still need to finish coloring it and still need a secondary ink pass. But that's where I'm at right now. And I will tell you who wins this in a second. But I just wanted to point one thing out. And that is the eyes. See the eyes? I did the eyes here. And then I added this little thing. Remember from the from the sketch my sketchbook of drawing? Well, the the the, the bottom. So now I'm actually drawing these these little parts uh, the bottom parts of the eyelashes on the eyes because of the studies that I did before so you the silver patrons will get the digital copy of this drawing the bronze patrons get a high-res copy of this drawing but the, but the silver patrons can actually look at the rough passes and all that other stuff that I've got uh, that and also for this you the silver patrons get to see all the layers and all the roughs and all the passes and all the You could see how the sausages were made how the plush toys were made how What the texture I used was all of that stuff like like you could see the entire process if you're all interested at all interested in that stuff uh, especially uh, those of you who are I'm coaching uh, absolutely take a look at all the all the layers just to, to see how the magic is made the magic the sausages are made um, and then and again this is this one is is there this is the final digital version 
it's not the final hand-drawn version. The hand-drawn version is hand-drawn. So even though that this black line is digital, the figure herself, the drawing herself is hand inked. I hand inked it. In fact, you could see the non-photo blue line that I used as a guide, but the rest of it is hand inked. And then the hand ink part, it's, it's also being hand colored. And I'm going to do a secondary ink pass so that it matches the thickness and the thick and, thick and thins of the uh, digital uh, pass. But it's hand drawn, so it's that's what makes it different. See, there you go. You can see that the marker has bled through because I'm coloring it. Okay, so and if you're curious to know who won, who is going to win. This Chun Li, it is none other than. I'm sorry, Steve. It's not you, Steve R. Uh, I, I, I. You know what? I, I debated whether or not saying Steve R. You didn't win, but uh, you'd probably never ever forgive me if I was to do that. So. Uh, <laughs> Um, and by the way, the Constellation Prize will be that um, next week, by the way, Steve, and everybody else on Patreon, I will scan this drawing and you will have a scanned copy of this. But the winner of this month's drawing will actually get the original. And that is none other than Bill Fisher, Show Bill on Discord. Um... You won! You won this postcard, so I will be getting, if I don't have your um, mailing address or a mailing address already from you, I will be sending this off as soon as I am done with it. I am not currently done with it, obviously. It's work in progress. But once I'm done with it, it is yours. Um, please, 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 uh, there's a poll... Uh, with indefinite, uh, it, it's indefinite time. Uh, it is uh, on on Patreon. Let me let me bring that up uh, so that I can uh, point it out and show it to you. Um, and uh, it, and it's even open to the public, I believe. It's I think it's a public poll even. So you don't even have to be a member of my Patreon to go to it. Um, The, it's a it's a genre poll, and the genre poll is: I wanted to know if there are any particular genres you'd like me to draw a lady from for the next postcard. So, um, the idea here being that uh, so so we we've, we've got I, I put video games, we've got movies. We've got Western animation, we've got uh, anime, uh, superhero comics, and others suggested below. Who Shopping for Noobs actually gave me a really good suggestion. Like, I'm like, wow, I never really thought about doing these, uh, this thing. And, and um, I, may, I may have to make a, a poll at some point and, and, and maybe start doing that. Um, it it kind of led me down a, down a rabbit hole that I may uh, talk about uh, some other time. But um, I'm thinking of, of doing some illustrations in, in the vein of something that uh, is shop, uh, Shopping for Noobs um, suggested. So I, I'm really glad for the suggestion. Uh, so I, I, it's, it's, it's open indefinitely. Uh, but uh, mostly to my patrons because I want to know uh, because you're the ones that are getting these postcards sent to you. So I would like you to answer and let me know what is kind of the the the, the genres that you tend to like the, your your fandom, you know, where where your fandom is, so that I can um, uh, draw uh, uh, your favorite characters from that place. Uh, specifically your favorite female characters, but um, 
uh, that said, I am not opposed to drawing chibi versions of your favorite male characters. Uh, I, I know that there's a, there's a huge population of people who don't like anything chibi and cute and they're like very loud and um, and hate it just they just hate the, the the style the genre the type so um, but I would draw say uh, chibi Superman or chibi flash or or in the case of this we've got video games and anime are the ones that are uh, winning so I would I should probably say uh, it would be chibi um, Deku or Midoriya from uh, Superhero Academia or maybe uh, Ryu or Ken from Street Fighter or Cloud Strife or whatever you know Solid Snake um, so uh, Western uh, superhero comics are losing out. That's usually what I tend to draw, and that's the one thing that nobody seems to want. Uh, there's one vote for movies currently. There's one mo vote for other. There's one more for, for superheroes. So right now, we've got video games and anime is kind of winning out, so I'm going to have to start asking. I'm going to create a poll currently, based off of this current poll, uh, I'm going to go and, 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 and do uh, an anime uh, girl poll and see which anime girl you would like me to draw. But for now, uh, I, please vote on it. The more information I get here, the better. The more it'll be catered to your genre fandom of choice. It'll, it'll be much more personalized when you get the, the postcard. It'll, be, it'll, it'll mean a little bit more. All right, so uh, thanks a lot. For your patronage I really really appreciate it and I will talk to you next time all right bye